Hi everyone, now I'm going to be talking about uh, substitutes for water hen. Now, I recently put the water hen blower up uh, on, on YouTube. I uh, filmed this fly, this actual fly is the one I filmed and tied. Now, this is uh, the water hen blower tied with water hen. Now, I'll put a photograph up of the actual bird itself, and you'll see the bird that's got, uh, it's got a lovely kind of shine coming off the wing. Now normally uh, when you're tying the water hen blow up you use the covert feathers. Now I'm going to show you the wing, so I'm going to zoom out a wee bit. And the feathers I I would normally use in the water hen would be the small ones, these ones here. I and mean, I have used the ones in the back as well, I've used some, some of the smaller ones along the, the edge. These are the covert feathers. And the inside feathers, this nice light grey, again, it can be very good. They're slightly longer than the fibre, but the main ones I used is the ones along the, the shorter ones, the elbow with the, the wing. I do have used, in the, in the video I showed you, using up the bigger feathers, which you can roll the, the fibre round. You don't get as neat a fly, I admit that. But when I fish the fly, there's one that's just with the fibre rolled round. Uh, they still fish. Quite a lot of fish on them. Now one of the main questions I got asked was about uh, what's a good sub for water hen. Now I was lucky enough, I mean I've been tying for 40 years, so I've, uh, I've actually I've got three or four pairs or more of the water hen, so I've, uh, I've been lucky enough to keep to have these. So, but anyway, uh, if you, you don't have to use them, and I, to be honest with you, when I first started I didn't, I actually used mainly duck and uh, I'm going to show you the duck feather uh, I'm just going to put this to the side uh, I'll show you the, the one with, the main, well one of the main, well, mallard was one and so was this one, this is teal I'm going to show you the wing, take the wing out and uh, teal was really good the mallard, I actually preferred the hen wings the um, thing is I don't have a good pair to show you or it, I just don't run out or so. But uh, the mallard is the easiest one to get, so it's teal. Now I'm going to show you the this one. This is the one with the teal covert feather. And I'm, going to, I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to zoom in and out and in and out just to show you what the fly looks like. So I'm going to zoom in just to show you. Now this is tied with the teal covert feathers. As you can see it's a lovely feather. Slightly thicker than the fibre, just slightly. But when it's in the water, it's a lovely shape. It's uh, this yeah, a lovely teardrop shape. I mean, to give you an idea, when a fly is being fished, after, this one's the, the one I was actually catching on, uh, yeah, on Monday. It takes on a nice shape. This is this 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 one's actually got uh, the water hen and the hackle like. But you can see the shape, and this teardrop shape gives you a nice nymph like shape and plenty of movement. And this is what happens when this is being fished. So this is the one with the teal. And this is the teal. See it's a nice love, it's a lovely grey, it's a nice colour. Now I'm going to zoom out so you can actually see it. So there's the feathers there, the ones I'd be using down here. And uh, there's lots of them. Uh, I have used the ones in the back as well. They've got a nice light tip, they can tie a lovely fly as well. Never ignore these, these feathers. These are really good. So anyway, that's the one with the teal wing, or the, this duck wing. So it's a nice, let's say, a nice fly. Now, on to the next. Uh, there's a few you could pick. Now, I like snipe. Snipe's really good. Um, I actually put the, f the fly into the plastic, and it's actually quite hard to get out. <laughs> so, um, so I didn't lose it. But this is the one with the snipe. Now the snipe in purple is probably one of the most famous flies. Again, I'll zoom in so you can actually see what the feather looks like. Now you normally you get you can see there's a lighter tip on these. You can go further down. It's a nice soft fibre. It swims well. Uh, it's it, it, again. It's it works. I mean I've caught many a fish on it. Um, if you look at the these are not very good and a good pair like but. Uh, wings, but I'll show you one of the wings, and uh, you can see 
here, the, the covert feathers as well, and you can see how they've got a wee light tip. Now I normally use these ones, ones with less colour on the tip, um, but it's not saying you can't use the other ones because they will. Again, I use the back here on uh, tying, it's quite used quite regular, uh, on traditional wet flies or spider patterns, or soft hackled, uh, soft hackles. There's lots of names for the uh, these flies, um, traditional wet flies. But anyway, it's this, this is the one using the snipe wing. And again, it's another nice pattern. Now another good sub that would, would be starling. Now I've got a full skin here. Now you've got, I, you prefer, I prefer to use like the full skin. Now I've got the fly in the card here, so I'm just going to take it off. The starling is good. I've, I've, again, it's a great feather. It can be used in a lot of flies. Uh, now I'm going to zoom in again so you can see it. And uh, it's a wee bit darker as you can see. Just this card to the side. I'll let you see the fly first. And again you can see a slight light tip on these. A bit more fibre like. You can use different parts. The, the, this is an adult bird. You, you can buy, well you, 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 can, you can buy it uh, as a, a young bird that's much lighter. So if you want a lighter colour than the, the younger one. Um, but anyway, that's that's the one with still, uh, the the starling. Now I'm going to zoom out so I can show you where I took the feather from. So basically, now this is a skin. Now you can take it from the wing, kind the covert feathers. Uh, now a lot of times I'll actually use the body feather, like say for instance this one. And I quite like these; they're really soft. And uh, what I normally do is, when I prepare the feather, obviously take away the fluff. And when I tie it in, I tie it in without the, the tip, so I don't want the tip. So I tie it, I trim that away and tie it in, I use up the softer fibres at the back. And it makes this the fly I ended up with. So there's different, as I say, the different feathers on the... Uh, on the bird where you can get them, and they'll still tie a nice fly. So that's the one with the starling. Now, the other sort of feather would be obviously hen. So a hen. Just using, I'll show you the. This is just a hen neck. Let me show you what it's like. So, I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see it. So it's just a normal. I mean, I'll show you the skin. This is the the neck here. It's quite a pale done this, quite a light done, sorry. Uh, you can go darker if you've got a darker one. But uh, anyway, there's the, that's the feather. It's not as obviously as soft looking as the traditional one, but once it's in the water again, it'll take a nice shape. It does fish. I mean, uh, again, I've caught fish on these. You can use it slightly darker, I mean, to have. I'm just giving a, here's a darker. You know, it looks more rusty like, but this 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 ties a nice fly. The colour on the back, you get a nice grey. Uh, there's, there's there's a few hen necks that you could use for this. So anyway, there we are. I thought maybe I'd let you see some of these flies tied using the different the different birds. Um, one of the other ones I forgot I should have mentioned was uh, coot. Uh, coot is usually one of the main subs. I forgot about this one, but anyway, I'm going to show you it. So, again, I've got a fly tied using the coot. And that does tie a nice fly. I mean, I've used coot quite a lot and quite some of the flies. It has a nice dun like colour. I'm just going to line that up a bit better so it looks. There we are. So, that's the fly, as you can see. Uh, it's got a nice fibre. Uh, it looks, the colour's quite good. And if we zoom out, I'll show you the wings. Now, I'll give you an idea, when I bought the, these wings, I've had them a long time, they're £1.90. This was from Cook's Hill. Uh, so, and they last you a long time. If you're I just tie these mainly for myself. But you'll see like, this nice, it's a kind of, kind of dark dun, if you want to call it. And there's a lot of feathers on there. And again, on the back here, you can use some of these lighter dun uh, feathers on the back of the wing. 
Uh, but you've got quite a you've got a lot of feathers there, around there. Uh, so I'm glad I remembered this. Uh, but the coot is a good sub. So anyway, there we are. I thought uh, out of all the subs, one would I probably I would go with any of them really. You will catch with any of these. Uh, I, I like the the duck because one of the duck, the teal duck or the mallard duck was one of the first I ever used. Um, and a variant of the, the water hen blower is I used to use a wine coloured thread and it, it, I remember the first time I fished it and uh, it, I couldn't believe the number of fish I was catching uh, it was just bang bang and it was much like the, the video I put on on Monday the hatch was didn't come too much there was, an odd, there was odd flies coming down the fish were keen to feed and they were more interested than the, the flies below the water than on the top and uh, it, it did really well but so anyway there you go I, I hope you, you enjoyed that uh, so idea of what the types of flies you can actually use uh, when you're tired or, or materials you could use as a sub instead of using the water hen um, but if you look at the water hen I'll just put a fly here the water hen blow it that is a nice fly a nice, a nice fly as I say, it catches a lot of fish, especially, I mean, it'll fish right through the season. And there we are, there she's there. Nice flight. And uh, so I'll finish off with uh, the real water hen blower. But as I say, you can have lots of subs out there. Any natural kind of grey colours is obviously the first choice. And then you can go into the hen necks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, thanks for watching.